boys it's arm none so today we're going to be customizing the progen itali gtb and gta online i think you guys are going to really enjoy this one i've customized this car before and uh you know i'm i'm a fan of it but uh it's definitely definitely not my favorite car in the game so let's get into the customization though um i actually won this vehicle from the podium a couple months ago i can't remember it's been it's been a long time um but i've already customized this car on the channel so today actually we're going to be going and we're going to be upgrading it to the benny's original motorworks one so let's do that 500 grand oh my god okay so we got a wide body kit on this thing it looks absolutely insane now and uh let's let's get right into it here so the armor we're going to go all the way up gonna do the brakes all the way up as well bumpers we have a lot of options here so we can go no diffuser no diffuser and extended arch stock bumper and extended arch vented bumper mark two vented bumper tuner bumper mark two tuner bumper tour mark two tour street mark two street pro bumper mark two pro race bumper Ooh. Mark II race bumper, um, extreme bumper. Oh my God, Mark II extreme bumper. I actually really like the Mark II extreme. I think that's probably the best looking one to me at least. So we're going to go with that one. For the rear bumpers, we have the primary touring diffuser, secondary, or the carbon. We're going to go with the carbon. I like that the best. Um, actually, honestly, I like stock too. The ah, uh, whatever. We'll leave it like that. For the engine, we can do some tunes here. Let's go up to level four. For the exhaust, we can go titanium trapezoid, titanium box, titanium inverted, or titanium quad exhaust. Um, really not a fan of where the exhaust pipes are located on this car. They would look a lot better down here, but that's okay. We're going to do the titanium quad. Actually, are we? Yeah, we are. Fenders. Uh, we can do extended over fenders. Okay, so that does it on the back here on the front. Okay vented over fenders okay cool rounded over fenders stock rear okay so we can do rear and front okay interesting okay so let's do the extended rear and we'll do the extended over fenders as well for the hood we have hood accessories we can do some hood catches on here uh you know what why not for the hood we can do a custom instep hood black stripe chrome stripe carbon hood carbon instep Drop vented hood, large vent hood, carbon large, carbon raised vent hood. Oh, that's straight off of the cockhead. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Street racer hood. Oh my god, triple vented. Yo, that one looks great. Oh my god. Extreme racing, ultra racing. Um, I honestly really like the street racer or the triple vented. Uh, I'm going to go with the street racer though. I feel like it looks a little more aggressive, honestly interior we can do the dash uh we can just completely strip the car let's do that why not dials we can put a tachometer mm, or we can do a race display and gauges um honestly i really like the big gauges we're gonna go with that one for the doors we can do a lot of different options let's go let's go race or i mean uh yeah carbon race doors uh for the seats let's go with something a little a little sportier um i don't really love any of these options honestly but these carbon track seats are pretty cool so we'll do that for the steering wheel we can change it uh, a lot here the apex professional is looking really good um but there are a lot here so um honestly the rally clubman is my favorite there so we're gonna go for that one for the lights we can change the color of them of course uh we could go I kind of want to go something a little bright, like marine or blue maybe, or diamond blue. Diamond blue is honestly the easiest to see. Let's go with diamond blue, why not? I like that. All right, roll cage. Uh, let's let's put in a full roll cage. Why not? We're um we're probably actually going to use this as a race car in the future. I think so. Kind of want it to uh be you know all race kitted out. So uh, we could put a livery on the car. We can go Chappelle stripes. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Redwood Racing, Tricolor, Bite, Tinkle, Debris, Debris, sorry, Amigas, or Caton Banking. Um, honestly, I don't really love any of them. 
We're not going to go with the livery today. Actually, you know what? It's going to be a race car. Let's do Redwood. Let's do the Redwood one. Like that. For the license plate, let's go yellow and black. For the respray, um, honestly, it might be kind of boring, but like I kind of want to go with like a white. Um, I think I think it kind of matches up with the uh, with the livery pretty good. So let's go let's go for ice white. For the trim color, uh, it, this changes absolutely nothing. We're gonna just put it to black. For the roof, we have a couple options here. We got an aerial that we can add, vortex generators, carbon vortex generators, or a carbon striped roof. Why would we do that? Um, let's go for some carbon vortex generators. Why not? For these skirts, we can go with a carbon lo uh, low level skirt or a carbon GT skirt. Um, not really a fan of either of them, but we'll go with the carbon low. Why not? For the spoiler, we can do the tuner wing. Custom body wing, exotic sharp wing. That one's probably my favorite on this car, honestly. But uh, s custom secondary body wing, secondary carbon custom. Hmm, man, which one do we go with? Oh, that one says Redwood on the spoiler. That's pretty cool, actually. Might have to go for that one. I think we do. We definitely have to go for that one. For the transmission, let's get that all the way upgraded and the turbo as well. For the wheels, I think we should definitely go with some... Ooh, my new favorite rims actually look really good on this car. Let's do that, why not? Let's go black on those. And for the tires, let's put a logo on them, why not? We'll go red or white, hmm. I feel like white's easier to see. I think we should do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires, why not? And uh, window tint, we're actually going to leave off of the car today. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's put it on anyways. Why not? All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what our car is looking like. Let's bring it down to the ground. We'll do a sound test, and we'll do a driving test and review, and I'll uh, give you guys my thoughts. So, All right. Starting off with the sound test. Oh, that sounded pretty good. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Nothing too crazy. Um don't think anything really worth mentioning there uh, the car is all-wheel drive I believe let's actually do a test really quick to confirm that I'm right on that yes it is all-wheel drive okay so cool all-wheel drive uh, off the line not too bad um, acceleration is pretty good on this car um, definitely there are better cars out there though uh, don't get me wrong uh, the amount of customization that you get with this car is very cool, although it does cost an extra 500000 to get everything that I've got on it right now. Plus, I mean, buying all the upgrades yourself, too. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. This is an expensive car, that's for sure. So, um, But as far as performance goes, it's, it's not bad. Um, there's definitely cars that will outperform it on the racetrack nowadays. Even when this thing first came out, the Nero Custom and the Nero both outperformed it uh, quite severely, I believe. Um, so it's, you know, it's not like, it's not the fastest car. Um, it's probably not the best looking, honestly. I would say the Nero um, beats the hell out of this thing as far as looks go. Uh, but it is a pretty unique car. You don't really see people driving this thing, um, unfortunately, but there is a reason for it. The car is just it's just not as good as the Nero and for racing there's not really a reason to own this thing um, but you know if you just want to add it to your collection then by all means it's just going to cost you a lot of money uh, unfortunately so um, but the top speed the acceleration handling all very good uh, it sort of drifts out in the corners a little tiny bit but it's very manageable and it's actually a lot of fun to drive so um, you know, I'd say I'd say I recommend the car. Um, if you you know, as long as long as you got a lot of money. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, I would say there's definitely better cars you can get instead of this thing. So, um, if you're pretty broke, save your money. Um, you know, there's going to be another update coming out in a couple of months here, and uh, so you know, I'd say I'd say save your money. Maybe save for something cooler. Maybe one of the other Ko Perico vehicles that are going to be coming out very soon. So. Yeah, guys, um, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, customization and review. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the customization and whatnot. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Peace.